there's a new frontier of healthcare underway and it's happening deep in our cells. That's where we find the powerhouse known as the mitochondria. The best analogy for the mitochondria is a car. Now, it doesn't matter what sort of flash car you have. If you don't have any energy in the car, the car doesn't move. And it's the same thing with the cells. So every cell in the body has this mitochondria, which is this little fuel pack or battery that drives the cell. So you need a good functioning mitochondria to have energy for your body to function well. And much like the engine of a car, our cells need a spark plug. Enter ubiquinol, a fat-soluble antioxidant found naturally in every cell. Ubiquinol is one of the major drivers of the mitochondria. So the mitochondria produces this thing called ATP, which is the unit of energy. When you breathe, you breathe oxygen, that combines with the fuel, glucose, and all the other nutrients we have. And that goes through this cycle called the respiratory chain. And this, this respiratory chain that goes on in the mitochondria creates the ATP. Now, ubiquinol is one of the vital keys to move this chain. So you're moving all the chemicals along to make ATP. You need ubiquinol for that. Ubiquinol has a role in supporting heart health, male fertility and healthy cholesterol. But like many processes in the body, ubiquinol isn't spared from the effects of ageing. When you get to about 30, which is the peak of your life, those levels of ubiquinol, the active CoQ10, drop off when you get especially over the age of 50. But there are other reasons for it as well. You have to have around three kilos a day of broccoli to get 100 milligrams of ubiquinol, or a kilo and a half of steak a day to get 100 milligrams of ubiquinol. If you're concerned about how much ubiquinol you're getting, you really should be speaking to the health professional you trust, your doctor, your naturopath, and they can give you the best sources of ubiquinol.